This is Kent Mulgad at Kelowna Now, and I've got Jim Check with me. And the reason is this. We're three days out from this Level Up event, which is going to focus on artificial intelligence, which really is where the world is headed. And what a great opportunity you were telling me about for students here. Yeah, so we've offered, uh, we did last time too. Last time we did the leadership one. We had two former prime ministers. You you interviewed uh, Jean Chrétien what and Stephen that, Harper. That, that was, was a day. big day, right? One of the biggest events ever happened in Kelowna. We believe the AI Summit is just as big an event and we believe that it's going to reshape the world as we know it. And we want to make sure that the grade 12 students, again, have that opportunity. So we put it out to the schools. So far, Aberdeen has taken, I think they're sending like 30 or 40 kids. So Rutland Secondary is sending a bunch of kids. But we want to make sure that it's out there. There's a cup, There's a company also, uh, Marlon uh, Lazik with uh, CIBC Mortgages. He's sponsoring a bunch of tickets. Our company has sponsored a bunch of tickets. So check creative. So we want to make sure any students that are out there that didn't perhaps get that opportunity that they can go on Kelowna now. There'll be a story there. You can fill out the form. All they need to get in for free is their grade 12 ID. And then fill out the form. They'll get their ticket. They'll get a ticket sent to them. They'll bring their ticket and their ID. Right. Okay. So you're saying that already you've got a private school that's signed up a bunch of kids. But if someone just knows of and a Rutland student. And Rutland Secondary too as well. Okay. So if you are a student or if you know a student, right. you don't need to have a school that's signed on to this. Right. You can, you can do this on your own. Hey, you can play hooky. <laughs> I guess I'm not saying it. I'm just saying no. that, you, that you're going to get to learn from some of the best in AI right now. Peter Diamandis, uh, the founder of the XPRIZE, which has basically launched the private space race. And out of that, the, the winner of the first XPRIZE ever was Richard Branson's Galactica that went into space. And then out of that, uh, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. And then, of course, SpaceX It wasn't in that contest but spacex is now the leading private uh space company even i mean nasa rents rockets from them um so and then also there's a bunch of other uh x prizes out there one for wildfire mitigation right now one for longevity and increasing people's lifespans there's a hundred million dollar one out there for for uh, climate change it's for carbon capture right so okay on the ai thing we hear about it all the time right now and you've really been feeding on everything i've been about, drinking from the fire hose you, yeah. you have been yeah. now and you were saying that you think in terms of the the quantum shift that this creates in the world as we know it that this is the biggest change that we will go through as human beings since electricity yeah. make that point so electricity kind of changed the world for us, like, you know, like for businesses and everything. Like, it, you know, you to compete with other businesses and you didn't have electricity, it'd be really hard. You know, there may have been a few businesses that could do it, maybe a blacksmith or something for a while. But electricity was a game changer for so many businesses, right? It, it allowed them to compete. Um, it was tough for the people in the lantern business. Very much so, right? It was very tough to compete. And the same thing goes for, for artificial intelligence because what it allows you to do is spend more time in your creativity, right? Because a lot of the mundane tasks can be automated and you can be, it's like it allows you to 10x yourself. So if you're now competing in the business landscape and somebody 10x themselves and you're still competing your old way, it's almost like saying back in the mid 80s and saying, I don't use computers and I'm never going to use computers. Computers yeah. are, are dumb, right? So there's a better tool now that's available. So the people that adopt that tool, obviously are going to do better than the people that ignore the tools. Yeah. It's, um, you know, there are things, I, I find there's certain things about AI that kind of scare me a little bit, but there's no point in being scared. It's coming, right? No. And if you're running a business, if you don't uh, utilize what you can in whatever area you're competing in, uh, if, that, if this passes you by, you right. are truly good. Because it, competition is everything, right? And so if, if somebody can do something at one-tenth your cost, because AI, the big promise on AI, this is where I really want to stress this point, the big promise on artificial intelligence is abundance for all, right? Because like, we should be able to drive the cost to most goods towards zero. I'm not saying it's a zero, but towards zero because labor is one of our bigger costs. So if we can actually exponentially get better at what we're producing, then obviously we should be driving costs and in, in a competitive market, costs should trend towards zero. So we're, we should be in a deflationary environment as opposed to the inflationary one that we just left. Amazing stuff. And you've got um, how many presenters? Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, Peter Diamandis is probably the keynote. Well, he is the keynote. And then like from SpaceX, I'm not SpaceX, sorry, from XPRIZE. And then Jane, oh, I'm talking too fast. Kane and Alicia are going to spend two hours 
talking about all the tools. They've trained over 3 million people in business, all the tools that are available right now. Right. Um, and they've, they've been on stage with Tony Robbins, Richard Branson. Uh, this, the list is too long to go through. Right. Okay. So and then there's a lot of local companies coming as well. Right. So this is the place to get on the cutting edge of AI. And, you know, if anybody's a parent or anybody's a student, this is, we're talking, this is three days from now. It's yeah. time to act on that. Yeah. Right. So the, the areas that are getting affected really quickly, healthcare, education, um, like those areas, autonomous driving is really going to affect a lot of, you know, like, like driving jobs. Um, we see it right now, even in when you're ordering and, and when you go into stores, right, you're seeing, you know, kiosks to order through and stuff like that. But there's the agents right now out there are actually taking the place of call centers, right? So because they full on communication. I interviewed uh, chat GPT in an interview, I think it was like a 10 minute interview I did. And it was a fluid conversation, no different than what you and I are doing. Probably more fluid, Jim. Sometimes you know, mine's not so fluid, but like <laughs> fluidity. But OK, so this is this is uh, this is Friday. Um, the all day long from eight o'clock till about five o'clock uh, you'll learn more about AI this one event plus you'll be able to talk to some of the companies locally that are that are into AI lots of yeah, sponsors some too. good networking can happen around that thanks. so um, thanks for telling us about it Jim uh, so yeah. go to Kelowna now uh, you'll find the form and uh, you can if you want if you have grade 12 student or you're a grade 12 student you want to come um, there's your opportunity great opportunity thanks Jim and thank you for watching Kelowna now <laughs> We don't just report the news, we live here too. We're your neighbors, bringing you stories that matter to all of us. No government funding, no outside influence. Kelowna Now, local, independent. News you can trust.